Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mercedes and today we will do a 10 minute relaxing stretch. All you need is a mat and yourself. So let's get started in a child's pose. Bring your knees together and then you're gonna bend forward with your arms stretched in front of you. Take a deep breath in and release, breathing out. Try to feel your buttocks coming closer to your feet. Eventually you will almost touch your heels, or maybe already you can touch them. Relaxing the lower back and the deep psoas muscles, pelvic floor. Now breathe in and slowly come up. And coming into your all fours position, make sure your knees are straight in your hip line and your hands under your shoulders. Now you're going to tuck the toes and you're going to press yourself back and into a downward facing dog. You don't have to press the heels all the way down. You can still hover a little bit above the ground. Look into your belly, shoulders away from each other. Now slowly bend the knees and stretch your legs. Good, tailbone is up. Bend the knees and stretch. Good, just a couple of times bending and stretch. One more time, bend and stretch. Good, and now for yourself, you can bend one knee, stretch the other, right and left. Notice how you can come closer to the mat with your heels. Focus on your breath, pressing those hands away. Spread those fingers wide. Massaging your lower back, and the back of your legs. Good. Extending both legs and slowly coming back to your knees. Wonderful. Now let's come into a child's pose, opening the knees. And you're gonna bring your upper body in between your legs. Just keep on breathing and notice how this posture feels different from the other. Try to quiet the mind with your breath. Focus on being on your mat. And then slowly you're coming back up. Bring your knees together. Back into that all fours position. And from there, step your right foot in between your hands. Now really make a nice 90 degree angle of your right leg. Make sure your hips are in line with each other, next to each other. You're gonna place your hands on top of your right leg. Now you can have your chin to the chest and you're gonna look down. Here you can already feel a slight stretch in your left leg, as well as in the deep psoas muscle, your hamstrings. You can go a little bit slightly forwards to intensify the stretch. As long as your hips are next to each other and straight forward. Focus on your breath. Inhale and exhale. Wonderful, good. You can stretch your red leg a little bit in front of you. And then 
place your foot a little bit more to the front, in front of your hands. You can also slide the left knee slightly back and then coming to the front with your hands next to your feet. Make sure your hips are also straight to the front here. And from this posture, from this lunge, you can look forward. This stretch is not too much about going super deep, but it's more about retaining and still feeling what you're doing. Wonderful, coming back out of the stretch. You can stretch your right leg in front of you. Take a moment and then come out of the posture. Good. Going straight to the other side. So coming into your all fours position. Knees under the hips, hands under the shoulder line. Now you're gonna step your left foot in between your hands. Make sure you have that nice 90 degree angle. And then from there you're gonna place your hands on your left leg chin to the chest making a straight spine shoulders pressed down focus on your breath breathe in and out enjoy the stretch give yourself an inner smile you deserve this this feeling of letting go. Releasing all the tension. Good, now we're gonna place our left foot a little bit in front of our hands. You can slide the right knee slightly back. Hips are next to each other and you can place your hands on the ground. If that's not possible, you can still have your hands on your knees. Focus on your breath. Really feel the knee close to the upper body. Creating that heat in your pelvic floor. going to our upper body so you're gonna place your hand palms the other way around so in your all fours position you can flip your hands to the front so your hand palms are facing down and out and if that's too much in the all fours position you come down onto your buttocks and then you can place your hands closer to the knees this is the easier version. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can always come back to the all fours position. Place your hands in front of you, under your shoulders. It is perfectly fine if you are not there yet. Don't judge yourself. Focus on your own breath, your own strength, and your own relaxation. You will get there someday. Take as much time as you need. This stretch is great for us being on our phones constantly. We get a lot of tension in our arms, our hands, our wrists. And this stretch lightens all the tension and the muscle pain that we're actually not aware of. Slowly coming out of the posture. Bring your hands back and come into a child's pose for a moment. Now, the second version, we're gonna flip our hands down. And our hand palms are facing up. Same story here, you can sit back on your buttocks or you can come into your all fours position. Now this one is very challenging. I find personally because 
for some reason, this exercise always, always feels challenging in my mind, not only in my body. Because I have to focus a lot on my breath. And then slowly you're coming out of it. Good. Now take a moment. Coming into your child's pose one more time. And you can place your arms next to your body this time. Completely relax. Forehead to the mat. Notice how your arms feel and your shoulders, your hands. Wonderful. Now the next posture is going to be the rabbit pose. So you're going to grab your heels and you're going to place your head on the mat. Now you're going to walk your knees closer to your head. And you're gonna curl and round the back. You can lift your pelvis a little bit off your buttocks. See how high you can come. And then you're just gonna hold the position there, using your hands to holding the heels as a counter movement, lifting the buttocks off the heels, and then slowly coming back. Now you're gonna press into those hands to pull yourself back up, vertebra by vertebra. Good. Well done. Breathe. All right. So the next posture and the final posture is a back bend. You're gonna place your hands in front of you on the mat and then you're gonna put your forehead in between your arms. If you feel that you can go further, you can always put your chin to the mat. Otherwise, stay on your forehead, breathing deep into the ribcage. You can close your eyes or focus on one point. Just breathe and put your head back, roll yourself to the front into your cobra and then back onto your lotus position. Well done. Beautiful. Just breathe round the spine, place your hands on your knees, chin to the chest and curling right back up straight spine. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments and like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>